determines the merit of each cadet is a time-tested one and those given appointments rarely fail to measure up to the trust reposed in them. The appointment holders have privileges and responsibilities. Those found wanting in their responsibilities lose their appointments and their privileges. A great deal of emphasis is laid on physical development at all stages of the training. A tough physical training system ensures that the cadets develop the endurance, strength and stamina to withstand the rigors of military training at the academy. A variety of exercises and training tests make certain that the physical standards at the Pakistan Military Academy remain amongst the highest in the world for similar institutions. A central modern gymnasium facility apart from independent company gymnasiums helps the cadets prepare for the grueling physical regime at the academy. Sports are considered important and all cadets are expected to take part in sports activities. The fierce competition helps develop competitiveness and essential quality for a soldier. Character and personality development remains paramount in all activities at the academy and is viewed as the single most important element of the training system. The gentlemen cadets are expected to display the highest standard of morality and character. In this the cadets are aided and guided by the instructors and senior cadets. The mess life plays a major role in grooming the cadets. Besides the normal activity in the mess, formal dinner and guest nights allow the cadets to interact socially with their instructors and seniors. Participation in extracurricular activities is compulsory as part of personality development. The cadets have a choice to join any indoor or outdoor club in third and fourth terms. These clubs offer a variety of activities. The Pakistan Military Academy is known for its high standard of discipline. Whether on parade or off parade, the cadets are expected to display a high standard of personal discipline. The battalion adjutant is the custodian of discipline and no breach of regulations escapes his attention. Punishments for violation of rules are prompt and corrective in nature. While the dictionary meaning of the word ragging has negative connotations at the academy, this is viewed as a helpful activity in inculcating many positive attributes in a new entrant. An efficient administrative and support system ensures that both the trainer and the trainee are well looked after. The permanent staff is provided accommodation within the academy and all necessities of life are also available within the premises. A dedicated staff in the administrative wing works round the clock to make certain that the cadets are provided the necessary environments to relax off parade. A well furnished and modern accommodation facility provides the ideal setting for relaxation after the physically and mentally demanding training routine. The academy has a dedicated medical hospital to cater for the cadets and the permanent staff. An experienced team of bearers, many of whom have decades of exposures to the systems and traditions at the academy, look after the administrative course of the cadets and often guide the cadets on many aspects of traditions. Of all the traditions, the most enduring one has been one associated with the PMA road. This is the name given to the long sloping road branching off from the Karakoram Highway and going up to and through the center of the academy. All those who have passed through the academy can never forget the culture of PMA Road. Patrolled round the clock by the ever-vigilant drill staff, the road does not accept casual behavior and symbolizes the high standard of discipline that the academy is known for. Both the indoor and outdoor training is supported by modern training aids and systems to make the instruction effective. An experienced staff at the Methods branch ensures that all training equipment is maintained in sound condition at all times. A major responsibility of the Methods branch also is the procurement and reproduction of training manuals and literature. In its role as controller of examinations, the Methods branch 
and chose the safe custody and confidentiality of examination papers. The culmination of the training at the academy is marked by the impressive passing out parade that is also the beginning of the careers of the newly commissioned second lieutenants. It never ceases to hold fascination even for those who watch it every year. It is a display of the highest standard of drill and is witnessed by a large gathering, mostly the families and guests of the commissioning and graduating cadets. It is preceded by a convocation ceremony where the graduating cadets are awarded the bachelor's degree. Preserving the past, the museum takes a visitor through the history of development of the institution besides providing view of a splendid life at the academy. As the breeding ground for the future leaders of the Pakistan Army, the Pakistan Military Academy is conscious of adherence to the highest standards of training and discipline and does not compromise on these. Only those who measure up to the requisite standards are granted commission in the Pakistan Army. Its ability to groom young men from varied backgrounds into capable junior leaders is its most distinctive feature. In a country of ethnic and demographic diversity, the Pakistan Military Academy acts as a leveler of class and ethnic distinctions and presents a truly national character.